Three TDs already today, and it's third and one at the five-yard line. St. Corey wide to the right. And again, Lane and Goodson flanking McGee. Lane nearly fumbled it. He hangs on to number 14. He's beaten by just flat. Big hit. There, there's, it's almost like a delay in just trying to get moving. Yeah. Yeah. Damon Jacobs came running through there. They've had a couple a couple pressures from both sides. But now, now those guys will run through and try to make a hit on, on Lane. And he's not going to be denied. You hit him high and he's just going to keep chugging. You need to game tackle him, get somebody high, and more importantly, get somebody low around his legs. He's a powerful, powerful running back. So it makes it first and goal from the three-yard line. Texas A&M trying to get the six and lane because he's got the one arm for a touchdown of the now evening. And going for two, obviously, because we're in the third overtime. Third overtime teams offensively have to go for two point, a two-point try. So Texas A&M's offense is certainly going to stay on the field. And, Coach, you work in these situations. What's your best two-point play? You draw them up with it. We've probably seen them all already, but Jaworski Lane, powerful getting that into the end zone. Well, you're going to run the option. I mean, that's what they have done and done be the best today. And so you're going to keep the ball in Stevens' hands and, and try He's to run the option. He's what you call a coach's player. Mm -hmm. So going for two with it 45-39. All at the three-yard line. Lane. Scores and he gets to the point. Now the option player was coach and he read it inside and they vacated. Turn to the big guy. There's nothing going to stop him when he's got enough steam like that running through there. And they need to game tackle Jaworski Lane. Stephen McGee smartly gives it to the big guy. You see the cross blocking up front. They're doing a nice job matching up on the two techniques inside and they're trying to cross it on. The Bulldog side, not really effective for him. A&M picked it up very well for the Jaworski to run through. Well, the offensive linemen, Gary, are the ones that really need to get the credit, too, because they're, they're controlling the line of scrimmage. 47-39, third overtime, Fresno State.